are going to need a black yarn. Um, I am using a worsted weight yarn. So I'm using this. I love this yarn. You're going to need whatever color you would like your iris to be on your eye. I am using um, Red Heart with Love Metallic in the colorway of Lime, which is also a four weight yarn. And you're going to need just a little bit of white. You can either use yarn or you can use embroidery thread. Um, this is just, I, uh, not I love this yarn, what is this? This is um, just yarn from the Dollar Tree. So you can use any weight yarn that you would like. I am using a worsted weight yarn. Uh, all you're going to do, depending on what yarn size you use, is adjust your hook size. Everything else will be the same. So uh, for this particular project, I am going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook, which is right here. So I'm using a uh, orange boy hook, and it is my 5 millimeter. Uh, you're also going to want a pair of scissors and a stitch marker and some kind of darning needle uh, or whatever type of needle you prefer to weave in your tails. So the first thing that you're going to be doing is getting some of your black yarn and getting your hook. Then we are going to start by making a magic circle. So I will show you how to make a magic circle, just in case you don't know how. So you are going to be using these two fingers and you are going to take your yarn with the tail end facing down and you're going to lay it across these two fingers. Using your thumb, you're going to grab this piece of yarn to secure it and you're going to take this yarn that's attached to your ball still and you're going to wrap it around your fingers and it's going to cross over like this. So you see how there's an X? Your X can be formed on the bottom of your hand or the top of your finger, or the bottom of your fingers or the top of your fingers, it doesn't matter. So once again, I'll show you. You have the uh, tail facing down, your yarn over your hand, you're holding your uh, yarn secure with your thumb, you're gonna take this tail and you're gonna wrap it around and you're going to either cross it on the top of your fingers or the bottom of your fingers, it doesn't matter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go under the first loop and grab the second loop with your hook and pull it through. And it's going to look like this. Let me make sure my camera is focused for you. And I'll show you that one more time. So after you've wrapped it around your fingers, you're going to go under the first loop, grab the second loop with your hook, and pull it through. Then with this loop still on your hook like this, you're going to turn your hook. And then you're just gonna take this working yarn that you have, which is the name for this yarn that's still attached to your ball, and you are going to yarn over and pull through that loop that was on your hook. And that is how you make your magic circle. And then I like to just grab my um, tail here and pull it uh, forward and then you just work over this. You're going to work over the circle side and the tail side. So you're going to hold them together like this. And you're going to work over both pieces. And that's how you use your magic circle. So if you need uh, to see that again, don't uh, hesitate to rewind. And don't forget that if you click on the little gear icon, uh, you can adjust the playback speed. So if you need to slow that down, then you can definitely do that and take as much time as you need to make your magic circle. So now that we've got our magic circle, we are going to start by making some single crochets. We're going to work over this uh, circle's uh, side and over the tail. So holding them together, we're going to do a single crochet, which you do by going into your uh, circle, grabbing some yarn and pulling it up, and then yarning over your hook and pulling through both. I'm assuming if you're at this video making an eye that you probably know how to do a single crochet, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that, but just a little, just a little tip of how to do it. Then you're going to take your stitch marker and you are going to mark that first stitch so that you don't lose it. And I am having trouble seeing it <laughs> because it is in black yarn. 
There we go. Um, but you are going to mark that first stitch. Then we're going to move on and we are going to make some more stitches. We're going to do six single crochets. So we've got one. We're going to do two, three, four, five, and six. And then we are going to pull on our tail. We're not going to pull it super tightly. We're just going to pull on it um, so that it cinches up the circle a little bit and leave it with a little bit of a hole in the center. Um, and then we will come back and tighten it up all the way in a minute. Now, what we're going to do now is we are going to remove our stitch marker, but keep in mind where that first stitch is. You don't want to lose your stitch. And then we are going to go into that stitch and we are going to do a slip stitch. So if you don't know how to do a slip stitch, put your hook through the stitch, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Now we can go ahead and grab this tail and hold on to our um, piece of work and just give it a nice solid tug. And then you will see you have a nice solid circle and there is no hole in it. So that is going to be the pupil of our eye. Um, and that is how big I'm going to be making this particular uh, eyes pupil. So if you would like to make it bigger, um, you can always go around and do another round. Um, just do increases um, for the whole round. So we have six single crochets. If you want to make it bigger, do two single crochets in each stitch um, so that you have 12 single crochets. And that's going to effectively give you a much bigger pupil if you're wanting to make a really big eye. But since I am not, I'm going to go ahead and tie off this yarn. So to tie off my yarn, I'm going to take my working yarn and I'm just going to do a little chain and then I'm going to cut this yarn, leaving myself enough yarn to sew, to weave in my tail. And then I'm going to pull up on my hook, which pulls this out and give that a nice tug. And it just essentially forms a little knot there. And I like to do that to secure my yarn when I'm tying off. So now we've got our little pupil. Uh, the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to grab the color that you want your iris to be in your eye. So that's where I'm using the sparkly green color. You can attach on anywhere. So you're just going to want to find a stitch and put your hook through that stitch. It doesn't matter where. It'll be the same no matter what. And we are going to make a little slip knot with this yarn that we're attaching. So take your yarn and put the same way we did for our magic circle, put your um, tail so that it's facing down, put it over these two fingers, wrap around, crossing over that other yarn. But then instead of doing a magic circle, we are actually just gonna grab that back yarn, that back um, strand of yarn, and we are gonna pull it through and just keep pulling on it and it'll tighten up and it'll become a slip knot. Um, or you can do whatever method you prefer for attaching on a new color. All right, so now that we've got our slip knot, I'm just gonna go pull the loop up through here and I'm going to make a slip stitch because that will anchor it on to my work. Then in that same stitch, I am going to do a single crochet. So just going right back down into that same stitch, doing a single crochet. You don't have to uh, weave in all of these tails. If you would like to, you can work over your tails. So um, you can either choose to leave them out and then go back through and sew them all in, or I'll take out the single crochet that I just made. I will show you how to work over your tails. So right now I just have that slip stitch that I made. And the way that you work over your tail is similar to how you work a magic circle. You're going to take this um, tail and you're going to hold it up against your work. And you're going to work over the stitches like the same way you normally would, but also over this tail. After that first single crochet, we are going to continue to hold our yarn to our project and work through the next stitch. And also with this yarn held here. So we're going to work over that yarn tail. We're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to do another single crochet in that same stitch. This is what's called a single crochet increase when you do two single crochets in the same stitch. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. 
and an increase in the next stitch. So we're going to put two single crochets into this stitch. And I'm still just working over my tail as I go, keeping it up against my project. And you'll notice on neither side can you see that tail. Now I'm going to do one single crochet and one increase. So we're ending with an in increase right here. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches um, because we did alternating single crochets and increases all the way around. Now you're going to take your yarn and you are going to go under the first uh, into that first single crochet that we did in this round and you're going to do a slip stitch. So you're just going to yarn, pull up your yarn and then pull your yarn through the loop that's on your hook and it'll look a little something like this. Now you can either end this uh, here if you want a perfectly round eye um, with the pupil centered and you just want kind of a little bit of color or if you would like there to be a kind of off centered pupil um, or a little bit more color um, for a little more color you can just continue around again um, doing single crochet increase. Um, if you would like to make it so that there is an off centered pupil, like maybe you're looking a certain direction, you're just going to, um, continue to do single crochets the same way, except for don't go all the way around. So let me show you real quick if that's something that you want to do. So I just slip stitched into this stitch. I'm going to single crochet into that same stitch. Then I'm going to do an increase in the next, single crochet in the next stitch, increase in the next. And you're just going to keep an eye on your work to see if that's like the amount of color that you're looking for or if you want more. If this looks good to you and that's like how much color you're wanting, then you can go ahead and end with a slip stitch in the next stitch. And then that gives you kind of an off-centered pupil with a little bit more color. So go ahead and do this however you would like to do it. Um, I think I've hopefully shown you the tools that you need to create whatever eye shape you're looking for, or you can just do exactly what I did. When you're happy with your eye shape, we're going to tie off the same way that we did before. We're just going to make a chain, and then we are going to cut our yarn, leaving enough of a tail for you to either weave in or sew this onto your project, whatever uh, you're planning on doing with it. If you're planning on putting it on an amigurumi and you want to sew it on, I would recommend leaving a lengthy tail um, for sewing purposes. Um, at this point, you can go ahead and go get this uh, yarn that we worked over and you can cut that because we have ni nicely woven it in by working over it all the way around. And I'm just going to go right up to the stitch and cut that and make sure I cut the metallic strand in this particular yarn as well. Um, and that strand is all woven in now. So now we just would have to weave in these two black ones. Um, now we're going to be doing our little um, what's called a light catch um, or the little glint in the eye. Um, and that is going to be done with our white yarn and our needle. So go ahead and grab your needle and your white yarn or your embroidery thread either way and cut yourself a little length. I'm going to cut probably like 18 inches. Um, you really don't need much, but I'm just cutting myself a little extra to be safe and grabbing my yarn needle. Thread this onto your yarn needle however you normally would. You can either just use your hands or you can use a um, needle threader if you would like to. Um, I use a needle threader when I'm using my normal needle like this or if I'm just using some particularly stubborn yarn that I'm having trouble getting onto my uh, needle. But for this particular one I think I'm all good to go and I'm just going to start weaving in. So make sure you pull this through a little bit so that it doesn't come off of your needle and figure out where you're going to want your light catches. This is another thing that is extremely um, 
versatile and you can really choose how you want yours to be. I'm going to do mine off center to the side a little bit, um, almost like bordering where the black meets the green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up from the bottom. You want to come up from the bottom where you would like your eye glint to be. And the reason we come up from the bottom is you don't want your tails to be on the top. You want them to be underneath. We're going to pull through, but we're going to leave ourselves a good couple of inches of tail in the white. And then we are going to go down um, back into our project the distance away that you would like this eye glint to be, like how big you would like it to be. So I want mine to be a little off center um, going into the black uh, from the black into the green. So I'm going into the green to go down. And it looks like this. Now, if you want just a small little eye glint, you can actually be done with just that. Or if you would like it to be a little bit bigger, come up next to where you had just put that other piece, um, probably in the same stitch. You don't want to go too far away and end up with a gap in between your colors. And then I'm doing the same thing with the going back through. And that makes it a little bit bigger. And I think that that is a nice size for an eye catch or a light catch. Um, if that is all you would like to do um, for your eye catch, you can be done. Or if you would like to do more, you can do more than one. Um, sometimes you'll have one here and maybe one here. Um, you know, maybe you'll do like three of them. So it's totally up to you what you would like to do. Uh, I am going to be happy with just the single eye catch. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do on the back. Now you can weave in these tails, but since the back of my eye is going to go against an amigurumi project, which I believe pretty much everyone watching this, that's going to be what happens. We have these two tails back here and I'm actually just going to do a little knot. And you don't want to pull too tight because you don't want these eye catches to get kind of sucked down into your work because you pulled too tight. So just lightly tug on it and then do a double knot and for the double knot you can give it a nice solid tug and if it makes you feel more comfortable you can even do a triple knot and then you're actually done with these so um, you can go ahead and trim them uh, and just when you're attaching your eye make sure that the little tiny tail nubs stay underneath of the eye when you attach it to your project uh, or like I said, you are welcome to weave them in. That is totally up to you. Um, but it is an unnecessary step for, for most of us, if not all of us. So this is what it looks like. And uh, if you're sewing it on, you're going to want to leave this uh, colored strand to attach with, possibly even the black strand to attach with if you want to really secure it on there. But you don't really need to sew the middle to, the, to it as long as you sew around um, to it. So you can just weave in these tails and to weave in these tails, you're literally just going to put your yarn on your hook from your magic circle and you'll also do the uh, piece that you had ended with and then you're just going to um, go up through your work and then a little bit over, go down through your work. and. Normally, I wouldn't sew my tails in this way. Um, I would kind of skirt around on the surface of this and only kind of catch the back. But with the black, it's really difficult for me to see where the surface of these stitches is. So I went ahead and did one that way. And then I'm going to attempt to do the other ones this way. But honestly, with the black, you really can just go up through your work and down through your work a little bit further over. Um, and, and that can be your method for weaving in your tail a little bit, just like this. Um, like I said, typically I wouldn't do it this way, but because of the black yarn being difficult to see, it is the easiest way to do it. And then once you're all happy with, uh, how secured this is, you can cut it and you can even leave a little bit of a tail if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, like a little bit of a nub because this will be behind your work. Um, so weave in those tails and boom, you have your eye. You're just going to want to make two of them and make sure that you uh, keep in mind when you're putting your light catches on here that um, where you want them to both be. 
So you may want them on opposite sides. You may want them uh, kind of looking towards each other with the little glints. You may want them on the outsides. So make sure you keep that in mind um, where you put your eye glints and then you can attach it to your amigurumi. Um, I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Just a little simple tutorial. Um, I have another tutorial that I did before where it, were, where it was just black, um, just a solid colored eye. And I thought that people might like um, a colored eye tutorial too. So I went ahead and made one. I hope you have a great day and I will see you on the next video. Bye!